All right, it's time for a new season of Common Rider. Listen, I can't talk too loud because it's almost 1.30 in the morning. My wife is asleep. I just finished watching the sub diversion. I have a lot of thoughts. <laughs> um, so I'm going to, you know, I haven't, because it's late, I'm not going to do my full new review style of how I want to do things. But I couldn't wait. I had to, I was like, man, I took notes already. Um, a lot of trying to separate myself from the end of Geeds, like there's no break you know we just got the finale i just talked about the finale on friday on the toku tonic shift stream on zio agito's channel like now i'm just like man i i, I kind of wish there was a little gap you know like a week or two to kind of digest everything but it's not we're on the next show i will say i did like that this episode start off with some action we have this um mysterious man who's holding our guitar driver and the three female antagonists are fighting with him and they're saying this is the key to the door of darkness and that's what they're after one thing i noticed about them is i like that two of them had veils over their face i had like one eye kind of like painted over it with like half a mouth i thought that was really cool um I like how when he's fighting them, he's summoning the chemis out of the cards. So we got to see like, uh, was it wrestler, uh, was it wrestler G, uh, the ants steam liner, obviously. And like, I thought it was really cool, very CG heavy, but at the same time, I like the idea that you can kind of, you know, some of the chemis from the card. I like that a lot. Um, so we waste no time getting introduced to our main uh, protagonist Hotoro um who's making a bento and as gotcha is his catchphrase that's something he's trying to use and even his mom explains to because they have like a little shop and he's making a bento you know one of the guys like gotcha and he's like and his mom's like yeah that means you know i did it this and that and i'm like okay this is gonna be a thing where he's gonna try and get that catchphrase over <laughs> Nothing to the story, but I got to talk about this bento he was making because I'm not going to lie to you. A cucumber hamburg steak with yuzu pepper mayo sounds amazing. That sounds divine. I love yuzu pepper sauce. I put it on my pokey. I like it. It's delicious. So I was like, you know what? I kind of want to try it. Try it. And, you know, his mom's like, you're going to be late for school. And he's leaving. We had a little foreshadowing already that I picked up on because... While she's, while he leaves, she is going into the kitchen. We pan over to a family photo and there just so happens to be something blocking the face of the father. So I'm already like, all right, we're foreshadowing. We're getting foreshadowing and we're not even, we're under 10 minutes into the episode. And I like that. So Hotoro is a student at the Fur, Furasu High School. I'm going to butcher names until I learn everything. And I, I kind of like that through the school and interacting with his teacher, which was like Mr. Uh, Minato and even, um, oh, I already forgot the name because I didn't write the name down yet. Um, Kudo, this another female student, we kind of find out that he's a daydreamer. He hasn't figured out what is plot for his future and what his dream is going to be. We find this out because he hasn't filled out his career form. And we also get some background to Kudo as well because she hasn't filled out hers because she basically comes from a very long line of like OG ancestral family bloodline. So her future is kind of already like set in stone for what she's going to be doing. I do like that we're already also introduced to Kajiki, his friend, who is kind of like the crypto person. He's like, hey, there's monsters. I've seen them like it was making all these noises and he started kind of like mimicking some sort of creature. And I'm like, this is cool. I dig it. Um, I like that we really get to see the alchemy early on with Kudo using her ring to raise up these steps on the side of the school and a, mat, a door appears and she enters in it and uh, like, slight humor. Uh, you know, our main protagonist Hotoro tries to get up there and he can't and he ends up seeing a door open up to the boiler room and that's where he finally sees this creature that kajiki was talking about which is hopper and hopper's tiny interestingly cute very cg um but i will say when he 
eventually goes to the park with Hopper. I like that Hopper gets a physical form that he actually can hold and interact with. Because if it was just CG the whole time, honestly, that would get kind of old pretty fast. And the whole entire time, Hopper's calling out very loudly and everyone can hear it. And we find out Steamliner shows up. Because this whole entire time, Hopper 1 and Steamliner were sent out by this dude to find someone who was kind of like, you know, chosen, the chosen one for this driver. And obviously it's going to be our main character. Um, I like that Kudo catches up to him and catches him with Hopper in the bag. And we get to see more of the alchemy in action because Steam Liner is approaching and she's using her ring, which when she takes it off her ring finger, puts on her index finger, she does like, she just gets her alchemist cloak and she's fighting it with leaves. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. I liked it. A lot of CG in this episode. A lot of CG, a lot of green screen, except believe, especially when Hopper or Steamliner captures um, Hotorel and brings him back to this train station where the guy was from the beginning. And he gives him the guitar driver. And this whole time, I'm like, man, that's a lot of green screen. But I get it. It's fine. It does not bother me. It still looked good. And he gives Hotro this guitar driver. And, he, you know, the three antagonists waste no time. They show up and start attacking. This man dubs while he's fighting and trying to hold them off. He's got a nice sword. I like swords. No big deal. And he dubs Hotro a common rider and says he leaves the fu their future to him as the three antagonists supposedly defeat him. And all the cards that he has collected, all the chemis are now being released from them. And, you know, I like how Kudo is kind of like our fill in the blank, so to speak. Like, kind of like our our navigator, our person who's going to give up, fill us in on what's going on. She even says, oh my god, like all 101 of these chemi creatures have been unsealed. And... One of the cool things, I was wondering how the monster of the week, so to speak, was going to think. Because he's like, you can't just fight a Kemi. That's weird. The girl, one of the girls shows up. I'm going to butcher the name, so I'm not even going to try until then. And they can absorb the Kemi and it kind of mutates them into that form. So this antagonist absorbed Kamantis and turned into basically a Kamantis Kaijin and started fighting. One of the cool things about the fighting and attacking is I like... I feel like from a supporting character standpoint, Kudo is going to be very entertaining to see someone who's an alchemist using alchemy to help and fight and deflect things. So it's kind of one of those things where not everyone needs to be a rider in this season to fight the monsters and the enemies. So I'm hoping Kudo doesn't become a rider, honestly, because if we keep Kudo as just an alchemist doing all this cool shit with the ring, I'm all for it. Like, because I think that's actually a really cool concept. <laughs> All right. This is where a lot of my... Uh, we got to talk about the Henshin transformations the first time. The pose. All right. That's fine. It's a, not It's not. Big deal. But as a Saber fan, that green screen full transformation, I liked it. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I was unaware, however, we were going to get like a CG heavy... Hopper Steamliner hybrid that Hotor would be before becoming Commoner Gachard. I guess he didn't like fully push in the uh, sides of the driver to make the transformation finish. But man, once we got the rest of that transformation, the CG popping up on the armor on the arms and legs, so good. So from an actual form itself debuting, that was good. I really hope we don't get the creature form a lot because that CG did not do it for me. But I know at the same time, the demographic of this show. So, you know, uh, one thing that I'm glad continued from a production and a fight choreography standpoint is the camera cuts and the cameras panning around while they're fighting. That was really good in Geats and in Revice. I liked that a lot. They did it a little bit in Saber as well. I'm glad that continued. And there's one scene, one little scene. It was very quick. When Gachard used like the Gachard gun and swiped Steamliner in it and shot, there was uh, really quickly, there was they were fighting in a room where it was black with like smoke, steam and smoke. 
and he appeared behind our villain and just started fighting and then they were brought back into the normal world and i was like what was that like really quick i was like wait what i was like let me back up a few seconds we watched it again i was like that was cool i need more of that whatever that was give me more um another thing we got obviously our first rider kick oh this rider kick this rider kick that was a damn fine rider kick i enjoyed it a lot and it was so good and thanks to having a blank card in this net hotaro finally captured his first kemi into a blank card not counting hopper one or steamliner and it is Comantis. the cool thing about having the show is i can be like hey every week i'm like this is the one they got and we'll like i'm planning on doing like a cool little end screen like they did with the buy stamps showing the cards he's getting every week i just gotta finish the animations for it and stuff and also it's kind of tough to predict ahead of time what he's going to capture um but the the cool thing is too after he defeated this monster the female was like kind of like came back it was full formed and was like you know what this ain't over i'll show you hell and then disappeared um i'm curious how many alchemists are going to be because um his friend whose name i already forgot even though i said it multiple times uh kajiki shows up and he's like look i got a monster and he showed like his phone with steam liner on it and instantly he's like the phone's wiped and like someone a malchus off screen like doesn't use his magic and a blast a radius comes out apparently and it's mr minato his teacher shows up and he used alchemy basically to erase everyone's memory and any proof of the chemis as if it didn't happen and we find out like this is how they've been safeguarding and keeping this a secret for so long and then mr minato says to kudo when uh hodoro is not around to hear it is it's been 120 years since a human has transmuted with multiple chemis at the same time so i'm like ooh, this is interesting i need more because anytime a year has been said in a show i'm like what has happened like 120 years ago okay that means i need some flashbacks at some point in the show because it just started it's episode one i'm not going to go too deep into it one point we're going to figure out what happened 120 years ago though and like i said another thing that i'm chalking up as a foreshadowing scene um but yeah oh, all together though this was a very good first episode um i don't think I'm, I, I try not to compare first episodes to things but compared to Geet's Geet's first episode like I was like holy crap this is great this one I'm just like visually oh it didn't like Geet, there's so much action in the first episode of Geet's that I was like damn this one I'm already I'm like so invested in the questions I have about this world already I have so many things I want to know more about and learn like you're adding in magic rings I'm thinking wizard you're adding in school life for a cards blade or even decade this and that like so many elements and i'm like all right you know what i'm here for this ride i'm on the steam liner hype train for this show i cannot wait for episode two and to see more and i honestly can't wait to hear what everyone else thinks about this show so i really want to know in the comments below what you thought of the first episode are you on board with it are you hyped because it's always tough with the first episode especially after a you know a season just ends to be like okay that show's over mindsets focus on this now so what do you think let me know in the comments below i'm very curious um but yeah that's it for the episode i thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one